All right, busy slide, I know, uh, but archetypal characters are something that we have looked at this year already. And we're going to dive into some new books, right, with our LDGs. And so we want to figure out who are some archetypal characters in those books as well. The word archetype means something that happens in stories uh, or in tales over the course of time again and again. They appear repeatedly. Next year, you're going to look at archetypes like the loss of innocence, where characters have to become an adult quickly. And you'll be writing a paper on that freshman year. That's an example of an archetype because it shows up in so many books and stories. Today, though, we're going to look at specific characters that are archetypes. You can see the definition below. The six different archetypal characters to the left, the bottom left, are ones from Hero's Journey. They should sound familiar to you. The hero, the shapeshifter, the person who changes from good to bad or bad to good. The trickster or the sidekick, right? The mentor, someone who gives that sage advice, usually an older character. The threshold guardian who's like a temporary blockade or obstacle for the hero. And then the shadow is the ultimate villain or evil that the hero has to confront by the end. Hopefully you can think back to Black Panther. You can think back to your hero's journey books like Red Rising, Maze Runner, um, Uglies, Unwind, Legend, etc. And uh, start to connect and remember who some of those characters were in that book. On the right, I've provided five more common archetypal characters, which we haven't really touched on in class yet, but they show up all the time in books and they may show up in your LDG book that you're reading right now. The first is the femme fatale. Uh, that's a fancy way of saying the mysterious, beautiful, and seductive woman who is essentially a metaphor for a trap for the hero. Uh, they lead them into a kind of a compromising position where um, they're sort of reeled in. They're trapped by this uh, alluring and attractive figure, and it leads them down the wrong path. It's basically a distraction for them. Mother figure is another one. The mother figure is kind of like the mentor, but it's more of that uh, guiding and directing spirit, emotional nourishment, something that a mother would provide for a baby or, you know, a young kid in, in their own family. Mother nature can be considered a mother figure. Uh, some of these older, wiser female characters that uh, help the hero on their path and provide that important advice. So it connects to mentor for sure. The innocent youth. These are coming of age books you're reading. Tangerine Speak, Stargirl, Darius and Swift, all coming of age. So a lot of them are going to have that innocent youth as your hero. Someone who's inexperienced with many weaknesses and has to learn important things about their world and how to navigate it. And oftentimes they seek safety in others. So if you have a kind of a naive or immature or shy character in your book, they might be considered that innocent youth who has to kind of step up to the plate and, and evolve as a character. There's also the orphan. And I put that in quotes because it's not someone who literally doesn't have a family, although in many cases it can be. But it's someone who is... Uh, essentially plucked from obscurity, meaning that they were, they just sort of blended in. They were um, not very important in their world. They felt meaningless. They felt hopeless. They were just sort of one person in the mix of a big population. And something happened to them that prompted them to find good fortune. I'm thinking of uh, Red Rising. Uh, those of you who read that and Darrow, who was just a, essentially a slave who was terraforming Mars and just one of many, many different uh, people in that world, and then suddenly he's the one that's chosen to upend the social hierarchy in that book and infiltrate the golds and become a leader. Someone who's plucked from obscurity, someone who is not known or not famous and is asked to do something that's heroic. And then, of course, the rebel, someone who uh, tries to upset the status quo. They can be the trickster at times, uh, but it's someone who is a charismatic leader who has a lot of ideas. Sometimes they work publicly to upend the status quo and they do things that are under the spotlight, but oftentimes they can be someone who does things in the background, maybe emerges at the end as someone who is really important to that hero or that protagonist. So some options for you, six from Hero's Journey, five new ones. Your goal today is to find at least one of these in your new LDG book, and you're going to write your prompt on which one of those archetypal characters you think is important to your book after the first 40 or so pages. So let's model quickly with House of Mango Street. I've got a couple more pages I want to read out loud to you from that. And then I'll write about an archetypal character that I see in my mentor text. Okay.